five best things to invest in the metals here in Infinite Galaxy. Today, we're going to discuss the five things that I have found that I am going to be investing on. Now, we may have a little bit of a different approach in here, but I'm going to tell you guys what mine is going to be. Today, we have finished the Galaxy Summit and we have succeedingly taken the victorious route. So now we have 823 of the memory cube. The memory cube will be used to invest into the metals in here. Some of the metals in here are going to be required by using alien cube, but majority will be using the memory cube. So let's kind of talk about this, each one of the metals in here, and how are they good and how are they okay? None of these are bad stats. All of these are good. And eventually you'll have all of these maxed out. You can actually see the maximum buff that you're going to be able to get by clicking the metal. Click the eye icon in here. You can see in here what you're going to be able to get. I want you guys to keep in mind that whenever you're investing into the metals in here, you need to look into long term. So I didn't notice this in the beginning, but you really need to pay attention what you get long term in here. Because as you guys can see, if I'm investing into the Imperial Psychology, you can see that in the long term at the highest level i will benefit here because i'm mainly destroyer so you can see destroyer armor during cross nebula 48 percent but if you are a forget you definitely get 84 percent with that benefit actually pretty good so i noticed that both of the um the, the planet's developments are not really favorable towards to the you know, the destroyers, which kind of sucks. The galaxy trade in here has some benefit for the destroyers. As you can see, it will be 84% HP, which is actually relatively good. So pay attention to that, you know, with what you're going to be able to get with the long-term investment. So for the uh, looking into the military architecture, you get storage capacity, warship attack. The warship attack is good, but this is gonna be a nice because warship attack during cross nebula, warship shield during cross nebula. This is a solid buff, a solid war buff, really. I mean, it does say in the name military architecture. So colony engineering, this is a great one as well for warship building and total warship HP. Again, focus on frigates and cruisers in here. Not much favorable to me, which is a main destroyer guy. But eventually I'll have, you know, more setups in here. I'll probably do a cruisers next. So that's going to be my next approach. Space geology, load boost, warship armor, shield during cross nebula, warship shield, sorry, warship attack. Again, these are good because these are universal buff. So some of these things you might want to look into. Um, if you are going to decide whether you are going to be focusing more onto the planet mining um then this is something that you need to look into and decide into so now one thing that you need to understand is that if you're going to be focusing shifting yourself to more like um battle or combat setup then this is what you're going to be putting is like into the warship attack warship buff you know warship shield warship armor or focusing on to destroy or forgets or going to be focusing into the um what is it called uh, cruisers so those are some of the things that you need to look into again this is a great one extraterrestrial biology armor and hp this is again universal buff which is going to buff whatever setup that you're going to be focusing on um galaxy folk destroyer this is something that i will probably invest into this is actually nice because you get warship attack plus get more attack from the destroyer but again this is going to get you in the uh, max level of 25 i don't know how much it's going to cost to get there but eventually we will get there but it's a long-term investment and it's a long-term weight of what you're going to be doing so for me i would say if i'm going to choose my top five in here uh, currently for my setup, I'm definitely going to get this planet, you know, development in here, flagship attack. Now, one thing that I want to say, flagship attack is not really the best, right? It's not going to give you the best compared to getting the warship buff. But the kicker in here is that I want the planet development. And of course, I definitely want more destroyer buff long term. Now, it is only 48%. And I eventually, I'll probably have a frigate setup or forget setup as I'm going to build a cruiser setup as well. Um, that's one I would probably invest into. I'm going to hold off a little bit in here, kind of make my decision. So that's one. And then the next one that I would probably do, um, is the next one would be the galaxy folklore. 
because then this is going to be a total warship attack. So I'm going to focus myself more into the PvP scenario. This gal this spaceport construction speed is going to be so useless because we're going to be like CC 30 by then. So that's not something that I'm really looking forward to, but I'm really looking forward to the warship buff on the PvP scenario. Another thing that I would definitely do is get this military architecture. The big thing in here is that PvP sense of the buff that you're going to be get. And again, as you guys have seen the trend in here that where I'm going for, we're definitely just keep on going into finding something that will be a great benefit for our setup. And also we're going to be doing this extra terrestrial biology as well. Now, this is still going to help you with resources because all gather resource speed when you're mining into the asteroids, you're going to get faster gathering speed. And, and plus you're getting total warship shield. This is going to be applicable for everybody. And then when you are in a cross nebula situation, all right, during cross nebula, which is they're gearing up, they're building up upon this, you're going to get 52.5% of the max level for armor for every type of warship that you're going to use and 9% HP for all types of warship as well. And another thing that we're going to invest in here is the old Federation history. Now in cross nebula one day, I'm not sure how it's going to really work, but what if they are able to attack your spaceport, your defense cannon might play a major role, 99% and also warship attack and warship armor. And again, huge HP bonus that we're going to get. So a few things that we kind of talked about in here is that the military, right? So we talked about military, which is going to give us attack. This is in the home that it will work. Attack and extraterrestrial will be shield. And then into the old federation is going to be HP. Now, one thing that we didn't really look into is the armor. Are they not giving out any armor in here on the, okay. The armor will be in the space geology. So if you want to get into the space geology, this is also a great one to get into. Um, I would probably say, you should probably get into the space geology as well. Now, I will probably invest into Imperial Psychology first, and then I'm probably going to go for Galaxy Folklore because I want to be able to get that destroyer attack you know, during the Cross Nebula. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to. Now, if I am you know, using my farming account, right, extra account, um, what I'm going to do for the farming account, I'm definitely going to put Imperial Psychology because we want to get that planet development. And then we're going to put Universal Archaeology again for planet development. And then you're going to be wanting to get this extra terrestrial biology for all resource gather speed. So it really, you can really do a lot of, you know, things in here and approach this very differently. Um, but the biggest key thing in here, participate in Galaxy Summit because eventually you'll be able to max everything out in here. It will take time. And if you're buying bundles, you're definitely going to help yourself out for that. Honestly, I like the design in here. It looks pretty cool. I wish they would send us some amazing medals for us, you know, for doing something great in the game or something like that or some, you know, rewards. But this is my top five that I'm going to be working on. Again, we're going to summarize this. Imperial Psychology, Galaxy Folklore, military architecture, extraterrestrial biology, and old federation history is my approach. And it can change, right? This is brand new into the game. My approach right now can change in the next two days or next week. So, but at this very moment in time, this is where I'm looking into, this is where I'm gonna invest myself into. My thing in here is that, what is your current approach for the metals? And does my suggestion here make sense to your current setup and to your approach? Again, if you have a farmer account, you probably want to focus your farmer account into getting those planet and gather speed buff. Now for your main account, um, it's actually not that bad. Actually, what I've done now is I've focused on Imperial Psychology and uh, Universal Universe Archaeology. So two things that I'm trying to approach right now is that Imperial Psychology, long term, I will have a benefit when it comes to Cross Nebula. So but for now, I mean, we will definitely need, you know, planet boost. I mean, we, this is something that is very important. So I look into this again. The, our universal archaeology is not too bad. You get total warship armor, which is going to work for my destroyers regardless. But when it comes to Nebula versus Nebula, I will have cruisers anyway, so I'll probably work on to that as well. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, but definitely for farm accounts, definitely, 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 definitely get the planets, you know, anything resource related. Um, every single type of uh, metals in here has a bonus in here right so except for this one this doesn't have a bonus for battle okay so not uh stats this is more of like it is just stats but it's not like armor uh, attack shield or hp but all of them are pretty much here there's an attack here's an hp here's uh armor but by the way these two things very different right 
Um, there's shield. So everything in here, you know, has that total warship buff anyway. You just kind of have to look into the long term whenever you're investing here. Um, you know, when it comes to cross nebula, how much buff do you want to get for your specific setup that you're working on? Um, these two things are being used to um, alien cubes. Uh, my top five right now, I would say Imperial Psychology, because I want to get that destroyers long term anyway. Plus, I want the planet. Um, the next thing is going to be Universe um, Archaeology. And I would say if I'm going to go for the alien cubes, definitely get the military architecture. And as well as the old Federation history. And then I would say the fourth one would definitely be, I saw the fifth one, it would be definitely be the galaxy folklore. And then if you, and then if we can sneak in one more, I would probably say extraterrestrial uh, biology in here. So, so just so, you know, we can farm faster in the asteroids and stuff, because we know that is something that is so crucial, just farming. Whether you reach CC30, you'll still need a lot of resources to maintain everything in here. I wish they have a warship repair speed. That would have been really amazing if that's a, that's a thing. I like the, the warship build though. This is something that I'm really eyeing on. It could be this rather than this one, but uh, I might actually just do this one. Colony, colony engineering instead might be better than extraterrestrial biology because you get warship HP. As we know, HP is good. But warship build then, the sucky part about this is that this is only for forget and cruisers. Not really great for the destroyer. Could be really great for forget. So if you're a really forget setup, this is probably something that you should work on. Maybe I need to make a video more specific to each type of you know setup that you know what you need to be working towards to but for now just a general idea anything that is just like universal in my opinion i think is really good anyway let me know what you think about this video how much does this relate to your playing style and if it's helpful smash that thumbs up anyway my intergalactic friends i'll see you again next time